What's up, hoes? Happy Halloween season! I actually haven't made one of these videos in a little bit. I was slacking. It is currently almost 1 o'clock in the morning, so if I'm a little quiet, it's because everybody's sleeping and I don't want them to be mad at me. Let's just jump into this because there's no time like the present. Let's go. I'm gonna be doing one of my favorite characters ever. What is going on with my hair? Sarah Sanderson from Hocus Pocus. This is who I was gonna be last year, but I couldn't get a costume ready in time. I'm putting on some of that, you know, that Glotion stuff. I put that on in the, uh, the mermaid video. But yes, Sarah Sanderson, we're doing it. And this is gonna be a really simple, not, well, you know, simpler. Hocus Pocus is my favorite Halloween movie. I'm not gonna conceal because I'm just not I'm not wearing this out anywhere if you were gonna wear this to like a Halloween party or whatever maybe conceal you don't have to I'm not the boss of you um so I'm just gonna do my normal foundation powder all that I probably should have done that before I even started like do you really care about sitting through that so can we just talk since this isn't gonna be a super complex video like all my other ones are <laughs> we can just talk about Halloween's past as a kid I can't do this. I was going to try to keep my hair down for a change. I can't keep it out of my face. So as a kid, I was horrified of everything. Everything scared me. And actually, Hocus Pocus was one of those movies. Me and my brother would watch Disney Channel. They would, like, you know, promote Hocus Pocus. And I'd see the commercials, and I would be just so scared of Hocus Pocus. I was probably, like, seven. And it would just scared me. I think it was Winnie. She scared me. He was really the only one that scared me. Oh, and Billy Butcherson, he would freak me out too. That, and does anybody remember the movie, um, it's called The Little Vampire? And my mom has a date with a vampire or something like that. That one freaked me out. Because, and then, that was before I ever watched The Nanny, and then I used to watch The Nanny all the time. Because it would come on late at night, and I never wanted to go to sleep, so that's what I would watch. And then Mr. Sheffield was the guy in the movie, and I remember when I first started watching The Nanny, that was all I thought about. I was like, oh, vampire dude. Back to the, um, the little vampire. Those, I'll try and find a picture. Those parents, and the, their, his brother and sister, excuse me, but those are, no offense, but you're freaky looking. So as like a six, seven year old kid, I was not down with that. A, another kind of fun, well not really fun, it's kind of embarrassing, story of Hocus Pocus. That's how I found out what a virgin was. They kept talking about like a virgin lit the candle and stuff like that. I remember I was in the shower and my mom was getting ready in the bathroom with me. She was like doing her hair. I remember I just was like, Mom, what's a virgin? And she was like, what? And I was like, a virgin, what's a virgin? Uh, take a shot every time I say virgin. And she was like, where did you hear that? And I was like, he was on Hocus Pocus, on the movie, on Disney Channel. And she like, opened up the curtain and was like, it's someone who better have sex. And I was like, <laughs> and that's how I found out what a virgin was. Her skin is extremely pale, like me. Thank God. Okay, I was trying to Google pictures of her. There is no clear image of her rude. I googled her for like 10 minutes. I mean, pat on the back for me, you know? I almost had to go to page 2 of Google. No, I didn't, but they have an HD, like a um, remastered version of the movie. Why is there no... I should, probably should have gotten screenshots or something like that. I couldn't tell. It didn't seem like she had any contour, thank god. I hate contouring. Or any highlight or blush. I'll put a little bit of highlight just because I can't resist but I don't think I'll do any blush because she didn't look like she had blush. It, next video hopefully hopefully the next well it probably will still be the next video. Okay next video is gonna be the Joker makeup. I'm telling you right now the Joker. The new one. The Joaquin Phoenix one because let me tell you I just saw it last night. I'm gonna go see it again. <sighs> I mean, go see it and you'll understand. I'm using e.l.f. Moonlight Pearls. E.l.f. highlighters, they're good, but they're stupid. You have to scratch off like a layer of film and maybe that's for packaging and shipping purposes. I, that's what I'm gonna chalk it up to be. But it's so like, I use this highlight when I don't want an overabundance of highlight. You want a little something, but you don't want to kill them. I have to highlight my nose. I think that's well, that's just like the best. The part of the makeup I look forward to the most is 
He has got a lot of brown shadows, some, I think maybe some coppers in there. I'm not really sure because there's no fucking HD pictures of her on Google. I'm just gonna use the Morphe 35-0 palette because this one is, honestly, I bought this. I'm not gonna lie. I bought this because I was watching Hocus Pocus like a couple years ago and I was like, Sarah would have this. I should put on some primer. Should I talk about some of my, um, costumes gone by. If I can find pictures, I'll find, I'll put them up as we go along. I think my first costume was a M&M. &M. I think I was the red one and my brother was the green one. I'm pretty sure the green one is the girl, but you know, who cares? It's 2019. Back then it was 1997, 96. It was 96. My family went to Hershey, Pennsylvania. I remember like a flash image of it's honestly one of the earliest memories I have ever is being in at the hotel and getting Fruit Loops. Other than that I don't remember anything from that trip but apparently I got a Hershey Kiss costume so that's what I was. I can't see. Oh that's great. Okay just deal with this. I'm putting primer. I'm putting primer all the way up to like the inner corner not the inner corner actually it's like from my brow down the sides are you following me because she has a lot of shadow in this region well, you know what i'm really i'm trying to make these work i don't want you to watch these videos and think that i'm just around i am actually trying that's the sad thing i'm doing the best i can with what i got that's what we should call this series I'm doing the best I can with what I got. We're primed and we're ready to go. I don't know what I'm doing. We're gonna leave this up to interpretation. Pray for me. Let's start off light and then just build up from there. Let's start off with this one. And I'm putting this all over the lid. This isn't the right brush to use. Oh yeah, back to my costumes. I think I was a witch, pretty sure. I don't remember that at all. The one I remember being so pumped to be was a lion. This was before furries were a thing, but I had this lion suit. I think the only picture I've ever been able to find is me sweating profusely from wearing it. I put this one up here. I'm gonna blend this out somewhat. Hers, from what I could see, they, it wasn't super like blended to hell and back. Almost in a triangle, it was like woo, woo, up. You know? Okay, let's just get dark. Right there. Alright, I'm bringing it up. Bring it up the side like that. I. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So, one year I was a nerd, and I didn't have to try too hard for that one. Then I was Jason. I don't have any pictures from either of those, I don't believe, so use your imagination. <laughs> this was like something straight out of Mean Girls. So, you know, when Katie goes to the party and she's dressed up like the bridezilla or whatever it is everybody's like a sexy cat and a, a mouse and she shows up and she's like what the f that happened to me one year one of my best friends invited me to her house for a halloween party i like all of her friends were coming i knew most of her friends and so i figured we're all gonna dress up as something creepy and cool i think i was about 13 12 13 at the time i get over to her house and she opens the door and she's she didn't say anything she was like hey cool costume i came as a vampire and i had like blood all down my face. I think I did like, I'm putting this underneath my eye because I f***ed up and brought it too far down. So let's just do that. Had a long ass cape. I thought I was the sh I get there and everybody's dressed up as like a sexy cop. These like 14 year old girls. And I was like, I don't belong here. <laughs> Honestly, I don't really know what I'm doing anymore. I'm kind of just putting any shade down. Oh, can I also tell you about a story that happened one time during Halloween? Oh, well, I haven't finished my costumes. And then for about two or three years, when I met Emmy, and she would have her birthday party, because her birthday is on the 27th, just saying, send her a message. She would have, a, like, a Halloween party. I remember for, I think it was about two or three years straight, I came as Little Red Riding Hood. That was just my default. This is looking bad. I think I'm done with the eyeshadow. Let's just stop while we're ahead. Okay, she doesn't have any winged eyeliner. Bummer. I'm gonna tight line my eyes, so do eyeliner on the top and the bottom. I hate doing this. I hate. <sighs> so then last year I was Post Malone. That's all I had to say. I didn't mean to do this part. Let's do some mascara. So, 
my makeup story. My makeup story? What? My Halloween story. I'm really tired. So one year, I was about eight. We moved into our house one time. Obviously. I remember my mom and my dad and everybody was like, how about we have everybody come over to, um, to our house on Halloween and go around our neighborhood for the first time and go trick or treating and see the neighborhood and shit like that. So we had our whole family out with us trick or treating, right? Going trick or treating and then our parents who are walking around on the street with us and stuff like that. We get to this house, ring the doorbell, trick or treat. We're here. And this old lady answers the door and she's like, Hey you guys, you want candy? We're like, why, why do you think we're here? We didn't say that. We were like, yes, please. Ouch. So she was like, okay, you have to come, you have to come inside to get the candy. Well, I knew, like, you know, you're not supposed to go into a stranger's house. But I saw my older brother and my cousin that were going in and I was like, well, it must be fine. They're, they're older than me and they know better, so it must be okay. So we all go in. This old man, I'm assuming it was her husband, came out from, I think it was their kitchen. He was like, Hey guys, you wanna look at our decorations, our pumpkins and stuff? And we were like, yeah, I guess, we just really want the candy. He was like showing us the pumpkins in the windowsill. This is a true story, I'm not making this up. And he was like, Do you guys want your candy? And we were like, yes please. <laughs> Again. And he was like, Okay, it's in the closet, you gotta go in the closet. And we were like, okay. I remember I like was turning the doorknob to the, they had like a coat closet. And my dad came booking in through the door and was like, what are y'all doing in here? They're like, we gotta get the candy. And he was like, no, come on, let's go. I asked my dad a couple years back, I was like, do you remember that happening? Cause I don't know if I just made that up in my head. That was just like a weird dream I had. And he was like, no, I remember it happening. And I was like, what did you think was going on? And he was like, well, I thought you guys just went in there like, on your own and we were like no they invited us in and he was like well that makes me worry a lot more okay we're almost there let's do the eyebrows i'm actually gonna fill in my eyebrows i haven't filled in my brows in in years because i went a little carried away if you're still here watching this at this point congratulations because i realized after i said that whole story this is gonna be hell for me to edit through that that was like the worst explanation of a story i could have ever given i'm not a good storyteller because i want to i want everybody to know every single detail so there's like no questions good enough she has got i didn't even explain why she's got some bushy dark brows I mean, that's as good as it'll get. We're gonna do some lipstick. And actually, if you watch the movie, if you pay close attention, she actually, it's like she flip-flops between two shades, and I, th I don't know if that was intentional or just like maybe the lighting. And so she'll flop between like a berry color, and then she'll go to like a, like a cherry red color. So I'm gonna just do the cherry red color, because that's what I have. So I'm just gonna line my lips. Because I won't wear red lips. I used to wear lipstick a lot, actually. Now, I won't wear lipstick unless I can get it, like, absolutely perfect. And it, that takes so long. I'll just use Milani. This is number seven, best red. I think this is... So the last thing I have to do is give her a... No. I hate that word. Chin, like, right here. Yeah, that's good enough. All right. All right. I only have a minute and a half left on my card, so let's just run out the time. Thank you for watching. If this ends abruptly, it's because my card's filled up. I kind of snapped. What can I say? Because she keeps her hair in her face a lot, so I feel like I need to... I think I kind of did okay. It's not the best Sarah Sanderson makeup you can find, but, you know, we tried our best. And that is the mantra for this whole series. If you like the video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Check out some of my check out some of my other videos that I've made. I only have 40 seconds left. I've done a jack o' lantern mermaid <laughs> mermaid man and pennywise and that went off without a hitch you know you really need to check it out and i'm gonna be doing more of those next one i said is gonna be the joker that hopefully i can get some like bells and whistles to go with that i have other exciting ones to come after that i only have 10 seconds left thanks for watching i love you okay bye